Hi guys and welcome to The Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer and today I'm sharing my favorite things from the month of September. I have cleaning products, I have things from Disneyland, I have snacks, I have home decor. So stay tuned and I will share it all with you. Okay guys, so just like normal, I'm gonna share with you the products that I've been loving, but I'm also gonna share with you the currently section of my Happy Planner as sort of a life update. But before I get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you are already subscribed, make sure to hit the bell notification because YouTube has been changing the way that they notify you guys when I upload a video. And unless you do hit that bell notification, you might not know at all. YouTube might just bury my content, you won't see it at all. So make sure to hit that bell. Now let's get started. Okay guys, so normally I would start with the reading section, but I did not start any new books this last month whatsoever. It's just been really busy with the kids and homeschooling and YouTube and all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip past that and move on to the watching. And I've been watching a new YouTube channel quite a lot recently, but they're really not a new channel, they're just new to me. And it's called Magic Journeys. And they combine two things that I love, Disneyland and food. You should definitely check out their channel, I highly recommend it. Now basically on this channel they go around Disneyland and they try all of the new foods and tell you whether they're good or not. But they also talk about Disneyland history and they explore fun facts and exciting news about Disneyland. So I'm definitely a big fan. Moving on to the food categories, first up we have cooking. And I'd have to say the best thing that I cooked all month was probably the zucchini fries that I made in the air fryer video. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you haven't seen it. But I made these zucchini fries. They were super easy and pretty healthy, not too bad for you, but they were surprisingly tasty. Even, even if you don't like zucchini, you might like these fries. You basically just chop up your zucchini, you make it the same size as a french fry just about, and then you coat it in a little bit of mayonnaise, and then you roll it in salt, pepper, parmesan cheese, and breadcrumbs, and then you bake it. Now you don't have to have an air fryer to make these, you could definitely cook them in your oven, um, but the air fryer gets them really crisp. They're really good. Now moving on to the products that I've been loving this month. I have quite a few and they're all surrounding me here on my bed, so I'll just work my way around. First off, I have a food item and this is technically a dessert. And you might find this strange that this comes from Ikea. I know you might not think of desserts when you think of Ikea, but I do. I don't go there very often, just a couple of times a year, but every time I go there, I pick these up. And pardon me, you guys, I never took any Swedish in school at all. I took Japanese, I took Spanish, but no Swedish. So that means I don't really know how to pronounce this very well. And this is open, so I'm gonna try to be careful here. But I think it's Sot, sot Sak Dam Sugare. And I've been getting these for years. They are super yummy, but they look really interesting with the bright green and the sort of chocolate on either ends. So, like I said, I've been getting these for years, but I never really knew what they were. The package just says it's a pastry covered with almond paste. But when I taste them, I don't taste almond paste at all. So I looked it up just for this video. And what I found out is that the word dam sugare, which I'm obviously probably not pronouncing correct, means vacuum cleaner. Because this pastry or dessert is supposed to resemble an old fashioned vacuum cleaner, so I thought that was really interesting. But these are totally unhealthy for you, full of sugar, but they are delicious. It's really good, it tastes like chocolate cookie dough. Yeah, I highly recommend these. Okay, so now that I've finished my yummy treat, I can move on to my next favorite product, and it's the limited edition Mrs. Meyers Cleaners. This is the dish soap, and this one is the multi-surface everyday cleaner. And this is in the apple cider scent. Now normally I stick to method cleaning products, but I really wanted to give the uh, special scents a try. And these are actually, they smell really good. They smell like a bath and body product, but for your home. And let me just say, I'm really not a super big fan of cleaning. I like to have a clean I like to have a clean house, but I don't like to spend a lot of time cleaning. I just do 
I just do what I have to do to make it livable. But I have to say also that when I have cleaning products that smell good, that's definitely a motivator for me to get the job done. Because I'm really not a fan of harsh chemical cleaners, but these guys, they smell really good. And now moving on to all of my Disneyland purchases. If you're following me on Instagram and Facebook, you probably saw a lot of the pictures that I posted when we were there. But this last trip was just a really quick one. It was just my husband and myself and our one-year-old. The kids stayed with their aunt. They went to school and did that sort of thing. And they'll all be going with us on our next Disneyland trip, probably in November. But this was just a quick trip. I went to review a couple of new hotels I'm hoping to share with you guys if you're curious. But let me show you what I picked up from Disneyland. And the first is this really awesome cup. Now this is a Beauty and the Beast inspired cup. And for a long time these were selling out at Disneyland. You couldn't get these. But the last trip they had a ton of them. And they're really cute. It was only about $12 it came with the drink, which for Disneyland is pretty good. But what's really cool is that it lights up. And if you can tell here, so you have sort of a strobe light, a flashing light, and then a slow light. So at night at Disneyland, these are really cool. And then I also picked up another light toy. Now this is gonna be part of my Halloween costume this year. And it's this Mickey Mouse light up necklace. Now they also make these for Christmas that are really cute. And I don't know if you can tell here, but this is flashing right now. And it's just little Mickey heads on a light string. I believe this was about $14. And so yeah, I think that was really cute. I love the light up sort of gadgets from Disneyland. And then lastly, I picked myself up a new pair of Minnie Mouse ears. I did not find the elusive rose gold ones when I was there, although I know they have them back in stock today. But I picked up these ones instead, which are kind of like a Halloween themed style. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas theme. It's got this little feather on the top, and these actually have like a black lace over a white ear. And surprisingly, these are really comfortable. So I have another pair of ears that has, it has sequins on it, and like every time I take it out of my hair, the sequins rip out some hair. So even though I love the other ones, these ones are definitely more comfortable. Okay, so this next thing is also Disney themed, but I did not get it at Disneyland. I actually found this at Walgreens, you know, like the drugstore. Right now, Walgreens has a ton of Disney um, themed Halloween merchandise, and it's a lot cheaper than you would find Disney stuff at Disneyland. So I picked up this really cute, adorable Mickey pumpkin. Now they had the Minnie Mouse version, they also had the Nightmare Before Christmas version, and they also had a Darth Vader version. But I went for the classic Mickey, and I just love this one because it reminds me of the huge pumpkin uh, Mickey that they keep on Main Street at Disneyland during Halloween time. And my husband and I almost always get a picture right in front of the Mickey. So it's really cool to have my own little Mickey and it, it's kind of hard to tell but he has a light in there and it's kind of an orange light so it's really cute. And this was $19.99. Now my next item I actually purchased from my girl's bedroom and I bought two of them but I'm just going to show you one and it is this mermaid pillow. I've been working on a room sort of makeover for them and this is one of the things that I purchased. They haven't seen it yet, it's still a surprise, but I don't know if you've got if you guys have heard of mermaid sequins, but basically you push them down and they're one color, and you push them up and it's a different color. Isn't that cool? And this feels really cool. This is kind of like my version of a fidget spinner. I could just like rub it up and down all day. It feels really cool. And every time we see these in the store, any store we go to, like Hobby Lobby or Walmart, the kids see these and they love them. They always want to stop and play with them. So I know the girls will be really excited to each have their own mermaid sequin pillow. Now this one I actually got for, I think it was about $8, and I found it on walmart.com and they had several different colors. So this is so fun. I could just do this all day, I love it. <laughs> Okay guys, now moving on to more of a practical item. I have these potty packs. I don't know if you've ever heard of these before, but these are perfect for keeping in your purse or your diaper bag, especially if you're going on a road trip and you're stopping at like rest stops and things like that. These are just such a good invention. I don't know why we didn't have these before, but 
basically this is a little kit you can keep it in your diaper bag or your purse like I said and inside the kit it has a toilet seat cover toilet paper and hand sanitizer and wet wipes so let's say for instance you stop at a bathroom somewhere and they don't have these things which happens to me more than I'd like to, more than I'd like it to you just take this out of your bag and you have everything that you need this is great to have especially if you have little kids who are potty training and you have to go to public restrooms a lot these are perfect so if you have any questions about these I will link them down below I think these are genius genius I love these okay guys switching back to the currently section next we have feeling how I've been feeling this month and I'd have to say overall tired I've been feeling super tired and no I'm not pregnant and it's not surprisingly from staying up super late. I'm not staying up really late every night like I used to. It's because I've, I joined an early morning mommy workout class and I know I've talked about it quite a lot before and I put I talk about it on Instagram like every day but this early morning class forces me to get up early, get dressed, and get out the door. I can take Griffin with me in the stroller but we do a lot of running, we do resistance bands and yeah it's very challenging. It wears me out. Usually by like 3 o'clock, I'm like falling asleep. But it's good for me. Um, my body definitely needs the exercise. And I think it's good for my mental health as well. Now last month, I talked a little bit about how I was feeling nervous about my son Jackson's upcoming surgery for his uh, tongue tie situation. And I had so many positive comments from you guys um, with your experience with the same thing. So thank you so much for that. Um, and I have to say, I'm not really feeling nervous about it anymore, although don't ask me the day of, I probably will be nervous. But right now I feel really at peace with Jackson having the surgery. I feel like it's definitely the best choice for him. And I'm just gonna like put my faith into Heavenly Father and the doctors that everything will go like it's supposed to go. Now the last section here is celebrating what we've been celebrating. And this month we didn't have any birthdays, but next month is going to be Lily's birthday. She's going to be turning four and we'll be going to Disneyland, like I said. But we're probably going to go a week after her actual birthday. Because her actual birthday, oh there goes my earring. Her actual birthday is before Halloween. Now something else I'm hoping to celebrate really soon is hitting 40,000 subscribers on this channel. We're not quite there yet. I think we still have about 300 or so to go, but I wanna thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting this channel and all your kind comments. I really appreciate it, so thank you so much. Now what that means for the channel going forward, one of the things I've really been trying hard to get together is the website, thefamilyfudge.com. Um, it's not as easy as you might think to like build a website and blog. I think it's way easier for me to edit a video than to edit a website. I'm just, it's just not my thing. But my husband's been helping me. So definitely go check out thefamilyfudge.com if you'd like to and see sort of my work in progress. Okay guys, there you have it. I want to wrap this up really quick because my battery really is going to die any second now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.